Iran is a country that must be on guard constantly due to various threats among other things. And part of protecting the interests of Iran relies on its air force. In this episode of FTD Facts, I'm looking at 10 planes used in the Iranian air force. So welcome back guys to another episode. My name is Leroy Kenton and there's so much to talk about when it comes to Iran. So if you want to see more videos about Iranians and Iran in general, let me know by hitting the like button on this episode. Okay, so let's journey into the sky and take a look at these 10 planes that play a key role in Iran's military. At number 10 we have the Hisa Azarakush. The Azarakush is Iran's first domestically built combat jet and it's widely regarded as the reverse engine variant of the Northup F5 Freedom Fighter or the Tiger II. And the Azarakush was developed in Isfahan by the Iranian Army, the Defense Ministry and the aircraft manufacturing company Hisa. It's a strike fighter and it was introduced in January 1st of 1997. Next up we have the Chengdu J7. The Chengdu J7 is a Chinese licensed built version of the Soviet Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21. Although production did stop in the year 2013, it does continue to be in service, mostly as an interceptor aircraft, and it serves in several air forces including China's. Now this aircraft was developed into the CAC PAC JF-17 Thunder. Pakistan uses that aircraft as well, but yeah, Iran has their own version of it. The Hisa Dorna is at number 8. Now the Dorna Dorna is a jet-powered Iranian trainer aircraft, and the aircraft was publicized first in the year 1999 when the Iranian Air Force General at the time claimed that a locally designed Dorna trainer aircraft had actually had production start. So more specifically, this is a light trainer and it was introduced in January 1st of 2006 into service. Then there's the Panha 2091. The Panha 2091 Tufan is an Iranian overhaul and upgrade of the Bell AH-1JC Corps light attack helicopters and it was purchased before the 1979 Islamic Revolution and where it got its number from and its name that's actually what the upgrade and overhaul program was titled and it was created by the Iranian helicopter support and renewal company. Number six brings us the Hawker Hind. This is a British aircraft that was a Royal Air Force light bomber of the interwar years and it was produced by Hawker Aircraft. It was developed from the Hawker Heart Day bomber and that was introduced way back in the year 1931. So this one is a classic and it was introduced into service on January 1st of 1935. Five. The Pana Shababiz 2061 is up next and this aircraft is an Iranian produced attack helicopter and it's used by the Air Force of the Islamic Republic of Iran. It's an unlicensed reverse engineered and upgraded version of the Bell 206 Jet Ranger. Number four brings us the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, really popular one. The F-14 Tomcat is a supersonic twin jet two seat variable sweep wing fighter aircraft. And now the Tomcat was actually developed for the United States Navy naval fighter experimental program and that followed the end of the F-111B project. Now the F-14 was the first American teen series fighter and it was designed incorporating the experience of air combat against MiG fighters during the Vietnam War. So definitely very powerful aircraft, very capable. We have the Auch Tavarzi up next. Now the Tavarzi is an Iranian made jet trainer aircraft and it was first revealed during the Iran air show way back in 2002. Now Iran began a program to develop a jet trainer aircraft in early 1990s. And the Tazarvi is a small aircraft and it's powered by a single General Electric J85 jet engine. And it was purchased from the existing Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force stocks. And number two brings us the Hisa Seike. So the Seike, alternatively spelled Saike, as well as some other variant spellings. This is an Iranian built single seat jet fighter derived from the American Northup F5. Now this was a joint product of the Iranian Iranian Air Force and the Iranian Ministry of Defense and it's a second generation of the Iranian Azarakash fighters. And then finally number one we have the Sukhoi Su-24. This is a supersonic all-weather attack aircraft and it was developed by the Soviet Union. This variable sweep wing twin engine side-by-side two-seater carried the USSR's first integrated digital navigation and attack systems. Now it remains in service with former Soviet Air Forces and various Air Forces to which it was exported to. And this was introduced into service in January of 1974. So also another classic aircraft. All right, guys, so that was your brief look at the country of Iran and what they're flying with. As always, leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. And if you want more videos about Iran, 
let me know down below as well. Now, before you head out, if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one I highly recommend. My social media links are also below in the video description section. And uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of our daily episodes here on FTD Facts. So yeah, we post every single day, so I'll see you sooner than you think.